This whole adventure started when Technoblade said this line in his first Potato War video. Oh, this is a joke. This this is pathetic. Only 18 minion slots. This this is just sad. I've seen Irish famines with more potatoes than this farm. You might get away with this farm in some garbage vegetable like carrots. But potatoes? How dare you? This line sent me on a path of, of carrotdom until I realized one problem. Number one carrot had one billion in collection. There was no way I am beating that, man. So, as my carrot dreams were crushed yet, I had to find a new collection to make a YouTube video about. To, to deliberate which one to do, which one was valuable enough, yet dumb enough, that nobody would, it wouldn't be a huge challenge to do. Then I found it. Gold. For those who didn't know, Gold is worth 150,000 gold per enchanted block. That's a third of a diamond, enchanted diamond block. And it also takes a third of the time. So, with the obvious price of diamonds making the collection very high, gold seems like a very good option. So, I made a bunch of gold minions. It's only been like a week. I am poor. Please don't judge me for my tier 7s. But anyway, as I am, I'm already at, four per at the f top 4%, which is not a lot. But, you know, it's definitely a start with my sev like 7 minions. Wait, yeah, 7. I, I could very much just throw all of the minions back there into a trash can and start with all these gold minions. But I want money to upgrade the, the gold minions, and I, I also want, like, materials to make compactors and stuff, because I do not have all that. Now that we have all the explanation of why I am doing this to myself, let's go into the how. So firstly, up there in the sky is a mining a mithril crystal, which gives me a, a little bit extra efficiency. And then you might notice that some of these gold minions are slightly larger in radius than than the other ones. This is because they have minion expanders on them, which gives me an, another boost. Only some of these have them because only some of them have dwarven super compactors. The other ones, on the other hand, do not. They only have regular auto smelters and compactors. They still work absolutely fine. But if left on their own, they would be less effective than the upgraded ones. So, the ultimate goal is to take this setup I have currently, max it out with another set of minions on above these glowstone blocks, and then another set of four atop that. Leaving us with a total of, yeah, 22 minions. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of my workings enough to stay updated and subscribe to my channel.